Hey guys, come here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. Constance is one of the champions added to the game this weekend, right? For the 10x. She is argued right now. I've seen many comments going around. She's been argued that she's been better than Dolores or as an alternative or for Dolores or a combination with Dolores. Why am I saying that? Because Constance has a skill, right? She's got a very specific skill that allows her to do inspiration, similarly to what Dolores does. So boost the attack of everybody else other than her and makes everybody stronger, okay? Getting boosted, your attack getting boosted is an immense buff. It provides a lot, a lot of power to all heroes. And that is why you've seen all teams, basically you've seen Dolores being used in gear eight one, gear eight two, gear eight three, Clan, uh, guild boss and then you've seen her in some arena teams definitely i used her in the past for some teams for artifact material raid uh promotion rates i mean you can definitely use her but those aren't that hard um void drift is, is a pretty obvious one if you want to burst down heroes and then even the tide i haven't used her on the tide but I, I, it, that's because of the, the BP. She doesn't give that much BP. But, you know, you know how good Dolores is. Well, Constance is a legendary version. That's what it's being argued. And that's how I'm seeing um, Constance. That's how I'm using her. And by the way, I wanted to, uh, to show you guys uh, our website. If you haven't seen it already, here's the Constance page. I've already updated. I've added all her skills so you can see it on your own. Uh, have a look at also the the ratings once that is updated you'll also be able to see the the tier list updated right here which i've given her an overall of 6.2 although i think i will be increasing this after my complete testing since on gear rate one two and three i've given her a, a little bit lower scores i think that is not um correct and i will be I will be testing her a little bit more because Gear read one, I can see how she can get a, a lower score because her positioning has to be on a on a ground slot. Gear A2, again, the same thing. It has to be on a ground slot to give buffs, but because of her range, her range is uh, like this, okay? Her range is um, as big as this one right here. It's basically like a Dolores one, but she's ground unit. She can still buff the attack-based units that you would want um, anyway. The problem is that she doesn't... Um, she probably does not get the benefit from, let's say, Toriel, but I think I could make her work. Definitely for gear rate 2, I could make her work. If I had her in my main account where I have a team uh, properly set up, we can try it on, on gear rate 2, 19 a little bit. Gear rate 3, I think a 5, which I've given her, is very average. And after going through her kit again and again and uh, thinking about how to build her properly, I think she'll get a higher score there. So that... This is a work in progress. So all of her skills have been added here uh, on the website. You can see all the other heroes as well, which are going to be live on the um, on the server pretty soon on Friday. I think they'll, they'll just release them and you'll be able to see them through the gallery as well. But if you can't wait and click on Demi right here, you can see Demi. She's being added. I think Cyrus as well. Two new Lord heroes, one for Esotericist, one for the uh, cultists. And then I've already made a video on Alora. Uh, she's pretty interesting for gear a3 anyway let's go back right let's go back to constance the way i've built her i've built her strictly as a attack damage booster as an inspiration booster why did i do that because you have a choice basically you either gonna build, build her as a tank and maybe get the benefit to everybody else through the attack uh, bonuses or you straight up built her with as much attack as possible. Look at that. 13.5k is not bad with 38,000 health. So if, you, if I built her with HP percent bonuses um, and then attack percent bonuses on the substats, I could see her being kind of a tank as she is, you know, a melee unit. But um, I think her overall usage is like as a, as a semi-tank with... The possibility to heal and the possibility to boost uh your your team's you know attack so inspiration is fully boosted right here because of the skills 45 percent, i believe that's five percent higher than dolores she already has higher attack than dolores and she'll be doing some healing as well attack based healing to one ally in range restoring hp equal to 80 percent of the hero's healing multiplier when the hero blocks enemies she stops healing and strikes one blocked enemy dealing 120 percent damage so 
Um, I don't want to use her as a tank. I want to use her as a healer because that way she also restores 3% rage every 2 seconds. Okay? And then um, gets an additional boost to healing. And then additional... Uh, when receiving damage, restores HP equal to 150% of healing multiplier. When receiving AoE damage, additionally heals all allies in basic attack range equal to 60% of healing multiplier. So that is pretty cool in terms of just being a healer, straight up healer. So, Awakenings, I'm not going to have a look on the Awakenings. Um, because of, you know, she becomes better with Awakenings. It really depends on how many you have. There's no crucial Awakening, I don't think, that she needs. I mean, the attack is nice. The rage region is also nice, but it's not as good as, you know, having an A5 Dolores. So the A5 Dolores, if we strictly compare the two, you can see that A5 Dolores gives a tremendous benefit to, um, where is it? Where is it? The inspiration effect of graceful dancing increases by 20%. So that is when you get the awakening and then she becomes even better in terms of getting back rage. When that ends on a5 okay so tremendous benefit from the awakening it's way easier to get her fully awakened so the majority of players out there will still be using dolores if you get constants you could try things out but i still think it's gonna be um it's gonna be probably just using dolores because of the way that she recovers rage and maybe the two you know you're going to be using the two together, but using one Dolores ultimate and then one Constance ultimate. We'll see on how her rage goes. So let's go in uh, a nightmare fight. I want to see on how we can use the both together. I want to see her healing as well in terms of how useful that is. Okay, so let's go into the guild boss. Um, I want to show you on how you'll probably be using the both together because I that's where I think the real utility is, at least for guild boss, is not using one or the other. Is you know, removing one... Uh, possible damage dealer, right? So having her stand somewhere like this, maybe um, like this, she benefits three DPSers. Not sure. Two DPSers for sure. Maybe if I put her here, that's yeah. I think this is like the best positioning, and she also um, she'll she'll be attacking this way. So I wonder if I if I turn her this way. That she won't be attacking, so she'll be just healing. So we'll drop in Falkia. She'll get the benefit from that. Let's drop in. Um, let's drop in Silas and see on how we can do with both of these together. In terms of her being just a healer, so we immediately have, I think, the possibility for an ultimate. So we don't pop. Uh, we don't pop both ultimates. So I'll pop. Silas, Falkia, and Dolores. Dolores, because I think she's so good for this because she'll recover rage much quicker, while Constance doesn't have such a good recovery of rage. I'm just waiting for... There it is. There's the, the big shield. That's going... Once Dolores' ultimate ends, I'll pop the Constance ultimate. So that ends. The boss is weakened. I pop the ultimate now. On Constance, she's providing inspiration to everybody. Not everyone has their ultimate, but they are gaining that benefit when they're just straight up attacking, okay? So, I already have now my Dolores ultimate. It's looking very slow for the ultimate on, um, on Constance. Still think I can do this. So, yeah, the healing is good, by the way. The healing is good. It's just that she cannot... She cannot heal a big range of allies. So um, another another one that could double dip would have, would have been something like here, where he double dips from Dolores. But I don't see like a possibility for like a triple dip. Um, no, no, a double dip, but for more heroes. So now uh, I just pop the ultimate again, and you see that that's where the double benefit comes. Um, Dolores gets that attack up, but she doesn't. Provide it back, by the way. Uh, you don't necessarily have to put Constance right here, but that's that's what you would be using. So you pop Dolores again. Uh, just popping ultimates as they come, basically. It should be okay. I can even pop Silas now. Just doing, straight up doing lots of damage here with all of the heroes that I've, I've put down. Um, Falkia is pretty solid. Look at all the damage we're, we're doing. And we're receiving lots of healing, by the way. 
she's she's a very strong healer when she's like that and she is not attacking pretty strong healer so there's the ultimate i have dolores again once i have the ultimates for silas i'll pop uh i'll pop dolores but it's a much slower recovering ultimate than than of course it's a much slower recovering ultimate than uh you know dolores because she gains back so much rage she gains like 33% range at an 80% chance. But still like a, a very solid, very solid one to have. So I popped it again. So what is that? Four times throughout the, the video. And it's still going. It still goes on. Look at that. Goes, goes, goes. And it's over. Almost 10,000 blood right here. With what? Three DPS heroes and the two, and the two um, damage dealers that I had. Look at that. We did 9.6 thousand. Very, very strong. Um, very, very strong combo. I, I can totally see teams being built around this because if you have heavy melee teams, you'll be able to put them so that um, you'll have at least three heroes getting the benefit. All right. And um, I could I could also see something like this. All right. Let's put let's put m more melee units down. So I can show you guys what I'm thinking of how she can possibly be used if you if you go for her, right? So you would do something like all right, there's there's Dolores, there's the the our very good booster. I mean you cannot go without Dolores, I don't think. So three heroes here can get a very good benefit. And then uh you'll have let's say Falkia. Let's say you have this one. Maybe you can put her somewhere like oh that the, the ghost there is attacking stupid thing can it go away can't even put down my hero i wanted to put constance there but right right ah spawned it again seriously all right all right so i would put her like this is she attacking she's attacking now i had her not looking at the boss but she's still attacking the boss that is not good if she's not healing this way uh, I don't think she's healing. Let me let me re restart this. So I wonder if I put her and then and then face face the front. So here with this setup, um, yeah, I definitely buff the three three melee here. Who you can have Zilla too. You can have um Salazar and Valeria, and they'll get a big big boost. To their damage although valeria you want to be keeping her at low health still it's oh okay she she apparently attacks if i put her regardless of where i put her she attacks there does that also work with placing her there right if i place her there she doesn't attack okay that's interesting she doesn't attack so could possibly do like like this three heroes here Although you would still get three heroes here. She she buffs up five possible melee slots here for inspiration. So opens up the possibility for much more melee heavy teams. Because right now you would only do like three melee units really benefiting from Dolores. Maybe four. But the fourth one would have benefited so much. Um, and then what I would do is put Falkia. And then you can go go really heavy with all the melee units, right? You can go really heavy with all of them and they'll just straight up attack all the time. There's an inspiration, so inspiration buffs up. Even Dolores and her healing is also nice, I believe. Let's pop the ultimate from Falkia. And once that is done, Ooh, I can pop this ultimate from Salazar. I actually don't think Salazar even has gear on. Some of them don't even have gear on. But then I would pop Dolores. And now Dolores is buffing these three people here. Basically two. Um, Falkia doesn't really benefit other than just doing healing. But um, this would be, you know, this would be the alternative. Definitely like an, an alternative positioning system system or strategy strategy <laughs> strategy okay let's go and see here in uh somewhere out of the guild boss i definitely think that the big players who 
who really love pushing the guild walls will find a use for both of them instead of another DPS having double um, inspiration boosters. So in terms of her being a tank, I don't see people using her as a tank. There's much more, much better tanks out there. She's just a ground inspiration provider, right? So the other place I wanted to try here was gear A3, okay? So gear A3, one very possible team I was using in the past, well, not possible, actual team I was using in the past was um, this one. Let's put a Raka here to make our life a little bit easier with damage. And I'll show you exactly on how you could potentially use um, Constance, although I think her cost is pretty high. I think the cost to put her down is pretty high. What's the cost? 18. Um, so it's all right. It's all right. It's not, it's not the worst, but you would put something like this. And then I would pop the ultimate there. Already Dolores is affecting that. There we go. Um, mm, maybe I should have dropped like a healer there. Okay, okay. Trying this again. I know, I know Araka is a little bit of a cheat code, but I still think like we drop in Cyrene, gonna give us some cost. We drop in Silas. Gear is not the best, by the way. Even though I'm on the test server, the gear they give us is, is just random, random stats. So there's, and I could drop in Laurel. And then I start popping everything. Oof. Okay, going in again. All right, have to be a little bit quick this time around with everything. All right, let's drop in Idril. She'll, she'll start attacking quite early. Laurel. All right, and we just start going crazy there. And there's Constance. We drop her, so she's available quite quite soon. Start bursting down. And then I can drop in my uh, Allura, I think. Just a second. There's that burst. All right, let's do, let's do Fish Guy. I don't think we'll get a spear just yet. I don't think, we'll see. Oh, there's the spear actually. Pop that. Let's drop in our other melee unit, which is going to be Araka. She's going to be taking the hits. And I should be okay. Let's put this on a 1x. Jesus. How's that burst? Salas is down. Um, now I can just start popping ultimates, right? I can pop in Idril. Yeah, I, I needed Silas to survive there. I think that um... Okay, let's have a look at the team. I gotta be quick here with this specific setup that I have in mind. I'll put in Idril first this time instead of my Silas. So Idril starts starts attacking. Silas will handle left side much much easier than we think, but um Idril, actually pop and do that. Then um, can do Constance in just a second. I think I'll, I'll do this. All right, and then Constance, and then we should be okay. Her healing, look at that. Her healing is it's quite nice. I. All right, 
So, wow, I need. Let's pop in Dolores. Idril. Oh, there's the spear going right for my buddy there. Let's pop her. Pop everything. And is it working? Kinda is, but yeah, getting that spear on the um, on the head there was not what I was looking for. She's is she stealth? Yeah, she's stealth. Oh, so close! And we killed the boss. We have um, Razak. All right, right. This went way better than I thought. But you need a Raka there, and she'll handle right side. I wonder if Dolores can handle this. I just wonder. All right, let's drop. Let's drop that guy there. Dolores ends very soon. Pop Constance. Pop Laura as well. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> No, the right side. It didn't die. Ah. Uh, this was so close. I just need better DPS on the left and right side. I think, you know, Constance buffing there is, is definitely a solid strategy. I could definitely give her a 10 on gear A3. Um, the problem is the book requirement, the skilling up requirement, uh, whatever it's called. Crystals, the legendary crystals, like I can definitely use her in gear rate three, can definitely use her in gear rate two. Like the team I would use her here. Uh let me see if I can have the setup going. My team would be uh something like Yeah, probably use Vierna there. Just as a DPS, and then the way that she would be buffing everybody, that, that would be interesting, but I don't know who's easier to use because of the high cost. I don't know if she can be just as a, as a tank who also provides a little bit of an, an attack boost. So I would switch her out with health percent. All right. If, if I'm going to use her as a tank, I would switch her out for health percent invigoration if I had it. And then I would use that as the set for her so that she could be one of the tanks available and she wouldn't really be a healer that way. And I would use my normal healer there. So gear rate two, I definitely can see here. Maybe I'll do another video on that, guys. But um, gear rate one. Let's see how that does for for nineteen. I'll I'll drop power of dominance. Nineteen is very much doable nowadays. I I think, but I wonder with two buffers on how good Kamat would be in terms of taking out the whole team. So. Okay, guys, for gear raid 119, this, this becomes interesting because we want her as a healer. And we don't want her attacking. So I think, man, placing her here would stop her from attacking. I just don't think she'll survive without a healer, like in this positioning right there. Um, She might be able to tank a little bit. So yeah, yeah here, my Kamet. Dolores, so I'll have, you know, basically a double dip. I'll be able to use this whenever pos whenever I have it, but I need a healer there. She won't be able to tank there. So I, I start with Comet immediately. And then he starts going crazy right there. I, I drop in, let's say, from for the defense down. And we're taking out targets here. Look at that, beautiful. Constance is just there. She's going to be ready to buff everybody. And then... I would probably, you know, pop Constance. Pop that guy. And just see on how much damage we can be doing. Drop in. Uh, no not doing crazy damage so i popped i popped Dolores and i can withdraw 
Oh. Yeah, and she cannot she cannot tank gear rate one. She cannot tank gear rate one. No way. I'm trying to think where the placement would be ideal for her to be able to buff everybody. Because right now, if it's just Kamet doing what you know what Kamet does, just straight up damage there. Then why would I use why would I use her? She, so here she can buff, but she cannot. She cannot tank even with a healer on her, just saving her. Right. Okay, and once once her ultimate is available, I can I can use it. Once that is done, the next wave comes. I can pop the ultimate here. And I actually will have oof. Yeah, she definitely cannot survive. Definitely. Why is he not healing? Uh, he's so slow. Let me pop that. Pop that. Mm. Yeah, for Gear Rate 1, I can give her a 7. I, I have. I can give her a 7. The, the 7 on the tier list would give her, for Gear Rate 1, like the possibility to be used here, right? In, in 19. I can definitely see that working. But. Um, with a little bit of tinkering, like I'm not doing like a proper team, but she, her positioning here does not work at all. Unless I do, you know, strictly, strictly her buffing. Like Comet, that's it. And then I would have uh, like Dolores right there. And then I would do this setup right here, right? I've done this before without Constance. So like, I don't, I don't think I would need Constance to do this again. So I pop in Dolores ultimate and you'll see on how quickly they'll kill everything. Um, Cause Abomination works very well there. Abomination works very well there. My, uh, yeah, Comet here does not, cannot hit that one. That's sad. Because of the way that I've um, I placed everybody so that he can get the benefit from Constance. But like right now, I would do Toriel, buff up, and then I would start again. So Constance is doing nothing so far. This is like a, a strategy that I use in another video. So he's already doing some bursts. Then once Dolores is done, I mean, Kamet's ultimate is also done. So let's say popping Constance again. It helps with damage, but I mean, yeah, here he doesn't, doesn't even attack. Wonder if I turned him to the right. If I had him facing this way, yeah, he could possibly hit something. So let's try that. So Kamen would be facing this way. Maybe that's better, actually. Constance, and then you would have Abomination right there. I don't even need Abomination at the moment, but um, team is looking all right. I mean, I mean, Kamed, you can pop him just immediately. He's gonna do what he does. Can even drop Laurel also immediately and pop her out because she's gonna give the rage to those two guys. Bring in my shark boy. And then I'll need heals for sure. There's my heals. All right. I mean, Dolores, Constance, both are available. I can pop Constance for now. She's going to benefit Ab Abomination and Kamet. And then I pop Kamet. And Dolores immediately once Constance is done. Drop Dolores, withdraw Dolores. Can put in Volca here to she she can attack a little bit, but I don't need it. And then, yeah, it's just Kamet attacking, but he does not attack everybody in that positioning. So I could pop that. Constance is very very soon available, so I pop both. 
then Pop Dolores almost when Constance is down. Basic, basically, basically, that would be the strategy here. Like, Comet is not hitting that target there because he's facing this way. That is the only, um, the, the bad thing in this situation is that Comet is, uh, has like a bad positioning right there. Dolores is almost done. Uh, keep on popping Constance there. She's going to help everybody. A little bit, I guess. Let's freeze. We do Laurel there. Basically almost gives us an ultimate. Ah, we're struggling here. We're struggling. We're struggling. We pop everything. Could use Lassier here for sure. The heals are not that, that strong. Come on, Kamed, you can do it. All right, let's see. Can I save my my burst for when he attempts to do like the big heal? All right, let's do it. Do it. Ah, struggling, struggling. I don't know. I mean, I've done this with just Dolores. This this specific strategy, I've done this with just Dolores. Having Constance doesn't look like it's going to be, you know, the strategy to to get this done. Look at this. I'm actually tanking these guys now. So it's not over, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. Looking very weird is what it is and then i killed the final mob this was a struggle to beat for sure and it's not kamet's fault i think with the correct positioning kamet would have been fine if i could place her here in this slot here right that would have been ideal because you also need to consider the positioning of your mage right for this stage So it's not just the inspiration. You you also have to consider that it's a it's a ground unit. If she was a range unit, we we would have been discussing different things now. But um, but yeah, for for Constance, right? The the rating that I gave I gave her for for guild boss, I think a seven is is okay. Gear rate three, I can definitely give her an eight or a nine actually but i've done gear a3 with dolores so it's it's a very difficult argument with considering the skill up box early i think it's fair on six gear a1 she barely gets a seven gear a2 gets a seven i think just gear a3 she'll she'll get an eight i'll give her an eight and the reason for that is is it's not an obvious use and you would obviously get the most benefit if you manage to get her ultimate going quick Okay. Um, overall, would I go for her? Definitely not. If I had Dolores, I wouldn't go for her. Unless like a big, big setup comes out using both of them. She doesn't look to be providing that much. Because you have to consider the 10 skill ups needed with crystals, guys. They're not, we have 4, 4, 4, and then another 4. So 16 levels. The first 6, you use just the dust. And then the other 10, you use the crystals. It gets very expensive to fully max her out. If you get unlucky, you'll have to use only crystals for this. And even though it's better than Dolores, it's still not ideal. And and I think Dolores still still is better because you can awaken her and get her um get her inspiration to be even better, right? Because the awakening uh does the inspiration effect of graceful dancing increases by 20%. So if it's if it's 20% of what the skill is, then it's 20% of 40 if that's how it counts. So 48%. So it's still better. If it's 20% plus 40, so 60% overall, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, I think, I think Dolores is just obviously much better because of the lower cost. But I, I can definitely see the use of both.
if you get lucky a little bit with the ultimate, you can definitely use both. If you're having issues with, let's say, gear A3, I'm gonna give her, gonna give her an a a seven on gear A3, not an eight or a nine, because maybe I was a little bit too um, forgiving. But I also have to consider the fact that I had a Raka, who benefits a lot the damage of all my range units. So Constance was really only giving damage boost at specific times. So definitely like a seven, a seven. I'll give her a seven for uh, gear A3. So this was the video, guys. What do you think um, of Constance? Are you going to go for any of the two, Alora or Constance? I posted Alora yesterday. Check that out. Also, check out the link for the website down below. Thank you all. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.